We welcome you to our meaningful meditation for this Sunday, October 23rd, moving right along. And you'll notice we're inside today. It's kind of a miserable day outside. And so we are wanting to focus on the beautiful stained glass windows behind me. You see the cross with the crown of thorns and then also the butterfly as symbols of Christ's love for us and God as the one who creates uh, everything in our world, the butterflies, and our wonderful individual lives that we get to live each day. We are in the middle of stewardship season here at University Press, and we are thinking about our hearts and the transformation that comes when we focus in on God and our faith and the love that is available to us through Christ. And our text for this Sunday comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 18. It's a parable between about the Pharisee and the tax collector and the ways in which they are thinking about who God is for them. And it's kind of a comparison. And I think the story for us to really focus on and the point is that God is the source of everything that we have and we need to think about how we honor God and how we do that is not by comparing ourselves to each other like the Pharisee and the tax collector do, but more to think about who God has called us to be and who we individually are with our unique gifts. One of the things I love about being a pastor is seeing how our staff uh, all works together and also the leaders in our church and how people have different gifts and they use them to help strengthen the church and the community. So maybe they have the gift of technology, which is very helpful in the days in which we live, or they have the gift of hospitality and they help with our coffee time or the gift of thinking about missions and reaching out into our community and the ways that we can help those here uh, in the Detroit area. So ponder and reflect on the unique ways that God has gifted you, that God is the source of all that you have and who you are and how we can continue to strengthen that. So that will be our focus this Sunday. I hope you can join us here in the sanctuary at 10 o'clock or we have our live stream on our YouTube channel as well. A couple of announcements of things to keep in mind is this Sunday at night at 5.30 we'll have an evening service and this will be featuring a, a contemporary theme. So um, some wonderful music, we'll have a short meditation and then some time of fellowship with dinner afterwards here at the church. So please come uh, and join us at 5.30 this Sunday night. Our theme is faithfulness and we'll be thinking about uh, Jacob from the Old Testament. And then the next Saturday, which is October 29th, is our Trunk or Treat, and that is from 4 to 6. So we encourage you to come and get some candy. If you want to host your own uh, trunk, you can do that here, and so you can sign up on our church website. Let Stephanie know who oversees that event. And then coming up uh, November 5th, which is the first Saturday in November, we are going to have a women's retreat here called More to This Life. Uh, the doors will open at 9 and then we'll conclude around 3 o'clock and it'll be a wonderful combination of some teaching, also some hands-on um, things to make and wonderful food, of course. So, so encourage you to check out the website for that as well. You can email me if you have any questions uh, about the retreat too. So lots to think about and ponder as we continue on in this journey together and so grateful for you taking the time to tune in as we think about life here at University Press. So blessings for your journey, amen.